Hey guys, it's Pamela. I never show you the finished product, so, and you probably can't see it because there, there's no lights on yet. There we go. That is the kaleidoscope pour from the last video. How's that? It's nighttime, so no light from the window. It's pretty dry. It's a little, a little wet in the middle. Just a little bit. I'm doing a density pour today. Eh, it's kind of scary. Here's my paints, the Density Pour Cell Maker, Cadmium Yellow Light Hue from Liquitex Basics. Now that's the only Liquitex Basics I'm using, okay, so maybe this will be proof that you only need, or you don't need them, maybe at all, I don't know. It's all about, you know, the Riley Taylor effect, the density of the paints, so here we go. Artist Loft in Cerulean Blue. Artist Loft in Brilliant Magenta. And the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic in, what is this? What is this? Oh, Neon Pink, that's an ugly color. These two together to give me this. And the Fine Touch Acrylic in Phalo Blue. I've added to the pink, the blue, and the yellow set enamels in pure white. Now this was mixed with, not gonna lie, mixed with the linen color, which is kind of an off-white. Because one day I was in Michael's and they didn't have any pure white, so I bought the linen color. And I had them both, so I just finally decided to mix them together. So it's about half and half. So, you know, there you go. I mixed about 20%, uh, I would say. I put the paints in the cup first, then I put the sand enamel in, then I stirred that up, then I added the flow trawl. Part, uh, two parts flow trawl to one part paint. Then I added water to thin, and it was water that was mixed with flow trawl. I don't know why. Thanks, Gina. But <laughs> my water was mixed with flow trawl. I don't know, maybe it makes it mix better. So I did that to consistency, and um, here you go. I know these are not your average stir sticks. Here, let me get one. Hold on. Okay. That's about two inches off the uh, surface. doesn't quite sink. I hope that's thin enough. Here's the base coat, the Fela Blue. I'm going to thin it out a little bit before we get started. There we go. disappears. I'm going to add just a tad bit more. Just a tad bit more water just to make sure it doesn't... Oops, I hit the tripod. So up close and personal here. I'm going to put just a little bit. More before I get started.
this is this is liquidy. This is almost drippy. Maybe that's what it should have been in the beginning. <laughs> almost drippy. I am the queen of thick paint, you know. It's gonna take it's gonna take some uh, discipline. Apparently, a lot of discipline. If I do that again, it's gonna be green. Okay. Trying to fix it, guys, okay? I'm good at fixing. This might be the last fix, though. afraid to touch it. It's like you're looking through. It's like you're in the event horizon. You're actually in it and you're looking out between two clouds to the rest of the universe. Okay, Pam. <laughs> sure. No, seriously. I don't want to touch it. I want to touch it, but I don't want to touch it. It's like something is telling me don't touch it. 